This is the SF Productions Podcast Network. Good evening and welcome to another exciting episode of Vast Wasteland. Secret Square. Could it be Bob Denver, Karen Valentine, Walt, the cast of Ghost, Henry Winkler, Mr. Ed and Wilbur, Marty J. Wiley, Mark Midbauer, and in the center square, Wilbur Neal. All on the new... There's Tuesday at 6, Wednesday at 10, Thursday at 3. That Darren Pamela Ferdin, um... Oh, no, not another Burgess Meredith show. Um... Welcome to the place your parents didn't understand. The world of 60s and 70s television. Welcome to Vast Wasteland. Welcome home. Hello and welcome to Vast Wasteland, the video journal of popular culture. I'm Mark Smidbauer along with Wilbert Neal and Marty Wiley. Well, tonight we're going to talk about the history of cable TV. As we know it. As we know it. As we remember it. As That's right. It That's it right. All three of us again. Yeah, how did that happen? <laughs> we're all together again. Amazing. It's been so darn long. <laughs> <laughs> Seems like forever. But we're all back again. And here to tell you that we're on Tuesdays at 6. Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> but probably not. But there's a pretty good guarantee at least a 90% chance it will be on Wednesdays at 10. And I'd say almost a, a fair... Probability of Thursday. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> almost. It's, it's, it's a pretty sure shot of Thursdays at 3 p.m. And maybe on Saturday, whenever the <laughs> engineers want to show us. <laughs> so, but the Wednesday and Thursday are probably your best bet. <laughs> Unless right now you're watching on Tuesday. Yeah. <laughs> screws everything up. <laughs> and then... Uh, just want to tell you, if you want to write into us or write into ACTV and say, what the heck's the deal? When are you going to start getting a regular schedule? Does that girl have any shoes? Yeah. <laughs> you want to write into Box 15, 1411, Columbus, Ohio, 43215. And there it is. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> so, let's see. Uh, the history O cable TV. <laughs> well, I'd say, well, you got to uh, look at the beginning. Um, why, why you have cable TV in the first place, or why it started. It actually started in eastern Pennsylvania, where uh, people lived between valleys of like the Appalachians and couldn't get any TV. And uh, actually this, I think the, like, the first system was this guy wanted to sell TVs in that town and nobody would buy them because nobody could pick up anything. <laughs> so he said, 
Well, I'll take an antenna up to the top of that mountain over there and run a cable down, and I'll run a cable to everybody's house. <laughs> and that was like part. That was like when you bought the TV from the guy. That was like built into the price. <laughs> wow. And Humanitarian. That's right. <laughs> oh yeah. And, and what a monopoly. He was the only TV dealer in town. <laughs> so. Yeah. Yeah. He get you that TV. And that's that right. Down to your house. So um, that was the beginnings of cable TV, and basically, was put, that part of the Turner family? No, no. <laughs> and basically, that's how I think things. His name was Mr. Haney. Yeah. <laughs> hey there, Mr. Douglas. Well, let's see. So that was basically how cable, for the most part, was for about. 20 years or so, uh, it was people couldn't get good reception and would pay for to get local channels. <laughs> and uh, uh, close to local as they could get. Right, yeah, <laughs> you might get like a like maybe a channel from a nearby city, but that Pixley. was about it. Pixley. Pixley. If you were in Twitterville, you'd pick up the Pixley station, W uh, <laughs> PXL, I think. <laughs> That's Pixel. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> I think I come from one of the last places in the world to get cable because it just really wasn't necessary. Well, yeah. It's just like a valley of television. If you're in the middle of it, yeah, nobody yeah, bought cable Cincinnati then. Between Cincinnati and Dayton, right. you've got every channel up and down the dial practically. Mm -hmm. So I think it's, I don't think they've had cable a very long time where nope. my parents still live there. And gee, I think maybe they've only had cable maybe five or six years. Right. Hardly anybody bought cable back then because it, you know, <laughs> unless you're out in the middle of nowhere, basically. <laughs> now, back in the uh, the latter part of the 60s, I had some friends that lived in Mansfield, and we'd go there on weekends or so to visit, and one time we're there stalking in there, saying, ooh, let's watch TV, we've got the cable. <laughs> and I, I, I was cable. like, uh, okay. There was only one company back then. <laughs> the cable. <laughs> they, got, they were just called T T A T Cable. <laughs> it was the cable. T C C the cable company. That was to see some big, some great, massive thing coming out of the back of their TV. You know, we've got the cable. So I, I just didn't know what to expect. And what did they have on the cable? Well, it was pretty much it seemed to me to be the same show. <laughs> they they at home. No, they always had different shows there, so it just seemed to be the same different shows, but they were all proud because they had the cable. Better and reception, I, huh? I said, well, I, I, we've got a TV. You know? <laughs> we've got the antenna. <laughs> the difference. You know. But um, that, that just, uh, and uh, that was true. After after they got the cable, they didn't have their big, uh, you know, the big aerial global right. oh, antenna antennas things. Oh, antennas used to be so wild. Oh, yeah. You could get, you know, if you, like, had some bucks, you could get, like, an antenna that that you have this thing on top of your TV, so when you you could you could adjust where your antenna was oh, yeah. picking up from. I mean, that's if you had a real high oh, antenna. Oh, my, my, my dad and then had you one could of pick those. up Indianapolis. Well, that was, <laughs> you keep playing with that, and you, you know, it's like uh, you'd hear somebody playing with it, and the next thing you hear, hear this. <laughs> the predecessor to our satellite. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> the great I mean, big motorized. <laughs> The antenna. That's right. I always, <laughs> always expect to hear those theremin sounds. <laughs> or, or if you went to regular folks and you just had a, a regular antenna, yeah. a couple times a year you have to climb up on the roof and readjust it because the wind had blown it right. out of... Out of <laughs> and and that just, this is something I think was very common when we were growing up was every house had an right. antenna. Oh, yeah. And now if the antenna blows down, nobody cares because... Yeah, nobody uses it. Yeah, everyone's, everyone's hooked into the cable. You've got the cable. The cable. Of course, <laughs> then there was, you know, you'd have your rabbit ears and they would rabbit break ears. and you'd, you'd had to get the, the foil, foil and, <laughs> and, and the, the, uh, the unwire the house. Hanger, you know, and put it on there, and then you had to twist it, spin it into like a bullwinkle new shape or something, and the more bends you had in it, it seemed like the better to you turn it just so, and you hear these little... And you had that funny round antenna for the UHF. Yeah, yeah that, that never really worked. <laughs> right, it was, like, it was just a scam. It was like something they gave you to, to screw on the back yeah. of your TV so it looked yeah. like you could get UHF. Yeah. <laughs> you know, it would fold down, you'd yeah. fold it up. Yeah. Expect to have, it'd just be a button on your remote control. You push the button, the thing would fold up, you know, and then you'd do oh, it. Oh, we didn't have remote control. That's right? true, there were you no remote controls back then. You had to get up off your butt and change the channel. That's you, why people were healthier. That's right. <laughs> well, and the it's first, like, well, that's right, the, the first remote controls were like, 
They were like they had cords. They were, they were like five, well, I mean even even the, like the wireless ones. There were five buttons on it. Like it was like on and off, and there was button up, it was like uh, volume up and volume down, channel up and channel down. That was it. And and you change channels, and it would still be the mechanical system. So it'd be like. <laughs> It was a huge feeling of power, though, as you're making this sound just from this little device. And it, and it was, I remember that. Didn't, the they, actually, the didn't they actually turn the knob, too? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, the knob know, actually turned, yeah. Do you know there are children now in my house that don't know how... That I had to, well, they know now, but until they got their own little portable, mm -hmm. they had no idea how you got a different channel. That's right. I mean, where was the, where was the remote? Where was the button? Where was something to push? Yeah. I had to go in and teach them to change the channel. <laughs> It's like, what's wrong with you? Well, well, <laughs> let's not forget the UHF channel changer. Oh, oh, well, that one is still working on. <laughs> yeah, that, that, that just, that just seemed like a. one channel and leave it. Yeah. <laughs> you had the little, you had, the, you had the thing, and you had to keep turning that knob. Yeah. You had, you'd make about 50, oh, yeah. 50, 50, uh, 50, 50 yeah, revolutions, revolutions yeah. before it would even turn from one yeah. channel to the next. Yeah, just be flipping but out that light. Like you were really just behind tuning yes, in. Yes, was like, oh yeah, I got it right, right there. There, yeah. that's perfect. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, 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 I got that obscure station from the, some yeah. town. <laughs> you know, after we, after we, dear, I'm, I'm almost embarrassed to say this, but after we got our first color television, we, it was like we were used to the fir the three channels, the three major, right. the uh -huh. ABC, the CBS, the NBC, <laughs> and we, um, well, we've got this other knob on there now, and so we, we turn it, and you know, it's like UHF. Oh. And, so, and then we turn this, and it was like, oh, we're almost getting it, we're almost getting it, we're almost getting it. <coughs> we were so excited. We were almost getting some other channel. <coughs> and my, my godmother came over and said, well, what are you doing? Well, look, we can almost get it. And she goes, and she turns it, you know, and said, channel 34. <laughs> yeah, we've got, we've got the, 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 the new age channel now. We're you so know, happy. it's happening on you. It was like, it was like, it was about a month or so. We were just, you know, trying to tune that thing. <laughs> See these little fuzzy characters? Ooh, ooh, we're that almost getting something. Well, oh, there's snow and everything, and then she's... And, oh! Oh! Okay, but see, this is a concept, too, that some kids that I know in my house yes. <laughs> could not grasp that we have black and white TV. Right. And I mean, Wilbert gave him a nice explanation was that, well, you know, that's the way the world was. It was in black right. and white. Every, there, was a, there was a world vote. Let, we better go to color. <laughs> I mean, gosh, it was like, yeah, yeah. I'll vote for it. Yeah. But it was like, I was like, see, people like the Wizard of Oz idea so well. It's like, it was black and white, then poof, color. It was color. <laughs> and then it went back to black and white. So that's oh, right. we used to watch the beginning. Some people around the block had a big color TV. And they were like one of the few people in the neighborhood that mm -hmm. had a color TV. Mm -hmm. So when Wizard of Oz came on every year, we would watch the first part at my house, and then we'd run around the block and go to their house to see the color part. <laughs> <laughs> and Don't ask me why it became a tradition. Yeah. You just like grab the popcorn and run over to the nearly. <laughs> there, there was also the, the phony color thing, the, the plastic oh, yeah. screen that yeah. you got with the, the rainbow That's thing me. on there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, see, we had, we had the huge Admiral, ah, Admiral. TV. Huge. I mean, you know, it'd take four guys to lift it. And <laughs> it would take like five minutes to really warm up till the colors were even close. You know. Oh, I remember yeah. that color TV's having to like, warm up. It'd be kind of green, and then it kind of fade over into red. Oh, there we go. <laughs> I remember that. It's like, oh, I'm gonna watch a show in about five minutes. I better turn on the TV and let it warm up for a while. <laughs> turn on the <laughs> Secret the... Agent Man until yeah. until Get Smart comes right. by. You know. I know it was the early 70s before my family got a color TV. Right. I think the first shows we watched were the Brady Bunch. The Partridge Family, it was a Friday night. That's right. <laughs> well. And we were just like sitting there like, like fools. It was like so amazing. Like, oh, look, we have a color TV in our house. <laughs> well, we let's see. We were my my, my dad is, has always been into gadgets. <laughs> my dad's always been into gadgets, and uh, they uh, and so he was one of the the first people in town, I think, to get cable. <laughs> we got cable like in '77, I think. Wow! <laughs> and at the time, it was really funny. That uh, we actually went ahead. We we went for. I think it was called Star Channel back then. It's now the Movie Channel. <laughs> and Star Channel. Star Channel. And and at that time, this was like they had just started. They had just started doing the Movie Channel concept, and they would. Um, and uh, it's like today we're going to show this movie over and over and over. 
Tomorrow we're going to show another movie. It was called The Movie Channel, and they meant it. They had The, the movie. Movie. The movie. <laughs> I don't think I saw cable until it was like uh, 79 or so, and I happened to be right. at a party at someone's mm -hmm. place in, I think it was Middletown, Ohio. Right. And the first thing I saw was The Omen. Right. And I didn't really realize that they had cable because it was really new there. Right. Really, really new. And it's like we start watching this movie and it's like I'm going, When's the commercial go? Come on. Well, I was like, where's the commercial? <laughs> but where is it? How, how come you get this stuff on TV? Well, the truck just ran over that lady and splattered her. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I don't get TV that good at my house. Yeah. And that's when they explained to me, oh, this is cable. cable. <laughs> Ooh. 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 Oh, Abel. Oh, that, that's something I really had to get used to because when I moved up here, right. it was like 80 and cable was just so common here. Well, because I of mean, that darn cube. <laughs> the darn cube. We, we well, should go into this darn cube thing. A lot of people who've lived in Columbus for a while will remember cube. <laughs> and a lot of people, in fact, still, still call Warner Cable cube. Warner Cable got brought in this, <laughs> right, brought in this. <laughs> they don't, don't want to don't cut us off again. That's they, right. They had a... Uh, they had this great concept of interactive cable. It was pretty much way ahead of its time <laughs> to the point that it was just a silly concept at the time. It was like a, a wired remote, which many of you people, if you have the old Warner Cable, still have. You wonder why you have a wired remote and everybody else has the new wireless ones? Cube. <laughs> <laughs> They're still trying to, to, trying to get their money back from the whole cube thing. So <laughs> I've just always had the idea that I lived in a non-cube area, but right. I had the idea that cube was so they could monitor what you were seeing and what you were watching. Well, that's pretty much, yeah, they could, they yeah, could do said, that. Well, and I said, well, I don't want that. Yeah. <laughs> well, they could also, you could all, there were also shows where you could, like, vote. I don't want nobody the, to know that I'm was, watching the Playboy channel. Yeah, it was, it was uh, in fact, uh, it, it was just a big uh, fiasco. But, uh, ironically, what came out of it, because they were desperate for original material, was that <clears throat> people developed new forms of entertainment which t went on actually to become, uh, depending on who you talk to, <laughs> it went on to become MTV yeah. and Nickelodeon oh, yeah. and, <laughs> and I CNN. I mean, it's like... I remember when Nickelodeon <clears throat> started at like 7 or 8 in the morning and went mm -hmm. off at 8 o'clock at right. night, and then the channel was arts and entertainment. Right. Well, it was probably arts back then. Back, yeah, back, it was back, arts. back when it was arts. It was arts. arts. And the arts channel. Which, arts which, which channel. CBS owned, and then it went out of business, and then they sold it off to, to the other people, the, the entertainment channel or something like that. Okay. It became arts and entertainment. And, and, <laughs> and do you know about when Cube finally went out of, went out of, went out of being... Uh, hey, step out of it. Hit him, hit him. You beat Floyd. <laughs> 1984. Oh, that was the last day. <laughs> the death of Cube. <laughs> yeah, the death of Cube. You know about when Cube finally died. Uh, well, you 1984. Know the, <laughs> <laughs> the most, I think the most, the channel that really struck me the most when I first got up here and got to watching cable was TB, T, TBS. Yeah. Ted Turner, and he right. and he had like some really good shows that he was doing himself with mm -hmm. uh, Bill Tush. Right, Tush. I remember those. And the and the whole the T, TBS was really a neat. Well, that station. was that was back when they were WTBS. When WTBS. Yes. I mean, it was basically yeah. an Atlanta station that that uh, Ted Turner had bought the rights to Braves games. He was and cable said, and cable wasn't cool. Was right. <laughs> and, he's, and he said, well, I can start the, you know, other other uh, outlets want to get this, so I'll slap it up on a satellite and anybody can pull it down and pay me royalty, royalties or whatever. Yeah. And, of course, it became the first super station, which now, according to the new rules that I won't get into, because <laughs> it's too complicated, basically, you're never going to see any more super stations pop up. Because <laughs> actually, I mean, it's, a, it's, it's, it's rerun heaven. Right. It's you got you got CBS, it. you got uh, WOR out of out of New York. We don't have that. You got WGN out of Chicago. You don't get that either. And you've got a channel, I think, out of San Francisco. Whoa. That that nobody in the on like east of the Mississippi yes, I don't oh, think. Oh, I need to like move to your neighborhood <laughs> wow. because we basically don't get anything well, for a lot of money. <laughs> 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 no, it's, no. Actually, we just get TBS. Uh, TBS and, T well, see, and TNT. What happened was, what happened was basically uh, channels like WOR were starting to charge a lot more money, and they said, "No, we don't need you." <laughs> I liked WOR when I yeah. had WOR. Yeah. Yeah. Really, and I got to watch all the ads. Uh, all the ads. For, got to watch. For your co participating Cobb L ice cream dealer. And, and got Here's to watch. Yeah. the whale. Yeah, Fuzzy the whale. <laughs> we got to watch Morton Downey before he went syndicated. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And his show was really pretty yeah. wild then. Mm -hmm. And there was another show. Oh, what was that show I used to watch in the afternoons? It was it was a talk show. It was just real 
it was a good little talk show. <laughs> Can't um, find it no more. Oh, you remember Geraldo? that guy? <laughs> no, 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 no. But it was a good show. It was um now to see we also had uh, sometimes they had Miss Molly on there from Raw Room. <laughs> uh, I was also had the two channels that I, I that collectively I like to call the Nazi channel because Nazi they channel? <laughs> uh, Discovery and and uh, Unearth Entertainment because. 24 hours a day, one or the other or both channels have a World War II documentary on. They're getting better, Mark. They're getting better. <laughs> That's the way I was there for a while. I'm taking a history series oh. off of Discovery about the American. They the both, Native they're Americans. both fine channels, but they show at least they used to way they too many to World War II that, documentaries. Yeah. <laughs> it's like okay, uh -huh. get your these are World War II doc, documentary six. <laughs> it seems um, in Columbus here, uh, cable kind of went. There was. On the east side, they always seem to have uh, their their coax over there. On right, the coax is all east side. East side. Um, well, east the north, north was um, well, it kind of went around north and right. over on northwest, north and northwest. You had um, cube up Warner, around there, right? Yeah. And um, in south, they had all American. All the all American. Yeah, right. But well, no, in wait a central. Minute. In central Columbia, well, I live in like the upper, lower, middle, east, northeast <laughs> side. Here. And you there was you'll there never was, find his house now. <laughs> there was no cable. <laughs> there was no cable in our area until the late seventies, hmm. early eighties. <laughs> really, the late the late seventies. Downtown 70s. areas were well, always still dial phones too over there. Yeah, yeah, we have still got the rotary phone. No touch phone. yet. <laughs> There is no we this little section of Columbus. Oh, we, we used to sit it. outside yeah. in the summer and we could watch sagebrush rolling. Down. <laughs> <laughs> if that's a true story. But um, we just did not have cable. And I would always look at a TV guide. I was, I was back starting middle, low, early 70s. I was always an avid TV guide person. And I'd look in there and I'd, oh, ooh, home box office. A new thing. Wow. <laughs> yeah. I hope everybody will get it and not just those people with cable. <laughs> and then sure enough it would Tough go luck. up. Cable. Look for it down that UHF yeah. <laughs> I, was, I was flipping, you know. <laughs> Home box office. And then it got short. HBO. Ooh. <laughs> and those so the so uh, my girlfriend at the time got got HBO. It was while I, I was out of the country and came back and they had cable. <laughs> Whoa! Wow! This is cable. amazing! This is incredible! They had we to wait until he left the country yeah, to get cable. Is he like gone? <laughs> they had to wait until I was gone. They had to bring in all the equipment and everything. <laughs> We would sit up and we'd watch, we'd see movies. It was great. And then, like, oh, after that last movie went off at, like, oh, 1 o'clock, 1 2 or so, Homebox Office is now shutting down for the evening. <laughs> and then had a little sound. <laughs> <laughs> and then it would go off. And it's like, oh. Oh, it must be, it was like, you know, when you used to hear the, da, 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 get up and turn off the TV. It's like, you hear that little sound. <laughs> That's it. We're done. And then it would go off. <laughs> I was, and then like on Friday nights, they would have all these wild shows on. And gosh, I, I can't even remember what it was. Like National Lampoon had a show on. I can't remember what it was called, but it was a National Lampoon show. And mm -hmm. that would be on. Or, or well, Pee Wee, the Pee Wee's. Um, Pee Wee was on HBO. It was the, a Pee Wee Herman it special. Was in, yeah, it was, it was a nightclub act. It wasn't called Pee Wee's Playhouse, but yeah. it was like Pee Wee's um, Fun Time or something like yeah. that. And it was his his nightclub act, and it was it was yeah. it was a wild thing back then. It was just well, wild. <coughs> and there's <laughs> gosh. I know when I lived on the northeast end, I had um, Playboy Channel, which actually didn't just show filthy movies. They had a really good news show, and they came on at like eight or nine o'clock in the evening. Right. And um, you know, like the kids were already in bed. My kids were very little then, and they were right. already away in bed and everything. One night, I like flipped it on because the news, according to Playboy, was coming on, and my little one creeped, I creeped up the steps from his room, and they just kind of opened the channel with a montage of boobs, you yeah. know. <laughs> and I remember hearing this and little voice no. going, "Oh, ah. boobies!" <laughs> 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 Well, now I think they made that a, um, at least Warner made that a, a pay-per-view pay deal or something. Oh, is that what Playboy yeah. Channel is? Yeah, I think that's how they did it over on, on at least on the new Warner, so. <laughs> and, you know, isn't, isn't that whole thing, isn't that just like, um, I don't know, it's, it's like, uh, well, I won't say beating a dead horse, but 
overfeeding a live one or something because you got okay well what do you got you got to pay or you get a tv or you get a new tv well we've got to pay for that okay 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 <laughs> And you've got, well, you've got your basic thing. Oh, well, we've got to get cable. Okay, well, we're going to pay for, pay for that. that. Um, you want extra channels? Okay, yeah, we'll pay for that. Pay for that. Okay. we got your movie channels and things like that. And you got the basic thing. you got your movie channels. Fine, fine, fine. <gasps> Pay-per-view. Ah, yeah. well. Another level. So if you want to watch something extra special or extra new or something that's happening yeah. right now. If you want to see something a month before it goes on your HBO or your Cinemax. Right. Or your th you want to watch it a month before anybody else. Yes. You can pay extra yeah, money to see it. Or you can go to the theater and see it for that. Yeah, yeah. But if you don't well, want to go to the theater, go to the dollar theater and right. see it yeah, while it's the showing the pay-per-view yeah, so for cheaper money. Yeah. You're just know. paying that much more. Well, we won't well, even go into that whole Olympic triple cast thing. <laughs> <laughs> what, what a fiasco that was. That was oh, a yeah. money maker for somebody. <laughs> no, I don't think so. No, was. I don't think the concept was. <laughs> see? The concept was, we'll make more money. <laughs> yeah, the, I, I, I hate to tell the cable industry, but sports pay-per-view is just never going to work because people are like, I'll just go to the bar and see it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah and the, the bar can afford to like, yeah. pay for it. And yeah. it's like, yeah, for That's, real, for real. It's not going to happen. Well, but I think I think the bars did know, that because there were so many people that didn't want to pay for it. And they said, right. hey, this is out there. We could pay for it. We could have the people coming here. Yeah. They're buying drinks. And right. They'll pay for it. Right. And we'll just exactly. it'll be almost free for us. We'll right. just sit back and rake it in, you know, Pretty and much. they'll be able to watch it, and that's it. It works for them, but <laughs> yeah. I've never gotten any pay-per-view, and yeah. I don't think I ever really will unless they have something that's absolutely like, you know, I don't know. Yeah. The second coming or something. Yeah. I'm pay-per-view. <laughs> second coming. I'm pay-per-view. God told us first. We, we have exclusive rights. Well, that's about as religious as we're going to get on here. That's right. So, let's see. Um, uh, well, basically, now in the industry, you've got three uh, three titans of the cable industry. You've got, of course, Turner. Mm -hmm. You've got HBO. Mm -hmm. And you've got Viacom. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. And Turner's got... CNN and TNT and and uh, Cartoon and Channel. Cartoon Channel I wish I had and it. CNN Headline News and Love meanwhile it. HBO's got HBO one two and three and Cinemax and one and two and and <laughs> half a Comedy Central and <laughs> last night I actually got a call from some survey company working for Warner and they said um, in your area would you, you are you aware that there's like these these HBO one and right. two and I'm like yes I'm very aware of it I don't have it. Yeah. <laughs> Well, do you think it would enhance your cable system to have it? I'm like, you mean I could have this other channel paying the same money that I pay for one? Yeah, yes. I think it would enhance Yes, that something. would enhance quite a bit, yeah. At least make me feel like I've got something right. here. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, I would think that would like a, you know, be a value. <laughs> Of course, it would be a lot better if we get that. Like Cartoon like Channel! Or, or <laughs> well, maybe the Sci-Fi Channel! Science Fiction Channel would be wonderful. Now, actually, I've, I've heard some stuff about Sci-Fi Channel, and, and everything I've heard is not good. <laughs> oh, that's too bad. <laughs> that's a lot of people who... Uh, I, I knew some people who were huge science fiction fans, and were like, Oh, boy! <laughs> it's like, this isn't that good. Well, I wish I had had the, uh, the uh, chance to find out for myself yeah, <laughs> if it's yeah, not good true. or not. I wish I'd that's had true. that. But thanks, I don't. <laughs> well, basically, we're now seeing everything going from, you know, I, I think the broadcast networks are just basically going to slowly fade out away. They're, they're already starting to do that, and you're going to see more narrow casting yeah. as, as we, I mean, <laughs> narrow, casting. narrow casting, broadcasting, think narrow casting. casting. <laughs> uh, see, that's, that's one of the reasons why I think uh, why uh, public access, of course, you've probably which been is, hearing which that. Which is not narrow-minded casting. No, no. <laughs> you've probably, probably been hearing that uh, public access may be in trouble. Personally, I don't think it is because there's going to be so many channels out there <laughs> that, that darn it, they're gonna have to fill them up with something. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'll take that public us, access stuff. <laughs> they'll take that public access stuff. We got 800 channels to fill up. What are we gonna do? <laughs> <laughs> you know, you know, you're only gonna have too many. that one show. <laughs> the antique channel, or you know. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we're going to learn how to. The, the Popeye Cartoon Channel. That's it. Just Popeye. 24 hours a day. <laughs> all Popeye. All the time. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty scary. Well, you know, personally, though, you know what I think the future of TV, cable what? TV is? <laughs> <laughs> Interactive. Uh, oh, where's the MZ? Uh, oh, no. oh, I know. Oh, I know. <laughs> no. Ooh. Uh, 
<laughs> so, anyways, that's about all for Razzway's Land for this time. And next time... Maybe we can talk about this again. I think yeah. there's some things I we haven't covered. We can talk about it again. But, but next time, the episode is... What, was, was Paul in another band before Wings? <laughs> we'll find out next time on <laughs> Razzway's Land. We'll see you next time. Good night, everybody. Well pumped. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Good evening and welcome to another exciting episode of Vast Wasteland.